Okay, welcome back, world history students. We've had a two-week layoff due to the emerging global pandemic, and now we're our country and much of the rest of the world is raging through it. So before I get you into the uh, India unit that we need to finish and wrap up over the next two weeks, let me just go real quickly into the COVID-19 Essential Articles folder here I've created. Just want to show you a couple of things. Um, we've got some awesome articles. You know, China's made progress, some modeling, good stuff here from the CDC. If you want to see the United States map, but I do want to show you the Johns Hopkins map if you haven't seen it yet. So if you go ahead and click on this and it it works much better if you get out of there so you can have the whole screen so this is Sunday March 29th in the evening and uh, for those of you interested take some time to poke around in this I've been checking it every day and really watch the the world's caseload explode the deaths just mount, you know, and at first, like I said, it's just, there wasn't that many and it's going up and up and up. Uh, you know, we were way in the back of the pack, you know, I think when we left, it was, it was China and Iran and a little bit of Italy. And now you can see how much that's changed in the course of two weeks. So this is really good. This allows you to interact. You can blow this up. As we talked about with uh, global studies last year, the maps are really critical for seeing the, the spatial awareness. So what started out in Washington and California has now blown out on the East Coast. And again, that traces back to concepts of population density, etc. And it's going to expand into other metropolitan areas. So Unfortunately, there's there's more bad news to be coming in the coming weeks and, and perhaps, unfortunately, months as well. So you can see this. So take some time and check this out. Not just the maps, but you can, you can isolate it here to see the change. So check on it from day to day. The graphs, you can see how we had very few cases back in January and February from day to day, you know, not adding that many. And then our inflection curve is just climbing and, and where it goes, hard to say. So anyway, check that out. Click on, you know, different different places, see how they're doing. See China's, for example, flattening out there. That's a big deal that their caseload isn't that much. Okay, moving on here, though. So let's get you to our India unit, okay? So if you get back into this red folder here, starting with this unit overview video, you should have found this already. And just to be clear, here we've got uh, an opportunity if you need to check in with me, I'll be posting a link here, the live link. Click on it and we can talk face to face if you want or need to. And here are our learning targets. We've already gotten started on some of them. Here are our key questions. Here are our topics for that current event assignment. Okay. So moving on. You'll get into week one right now show you how that works so everything you need to know this is your pacing guide is in the week one agenda okay so a lot of this early stuff is going to be reviewed because we had just started this unit before our two-week layoff so you've already been watching the overview video now let's go back and make sure that we know the India area uh, map quizzes uh, both politically with the countries and then the landforms. Okay, so we got a physical map and a political map for you to study on Satira. Tuesday, looking at the caste system again. I recorded a lecture here. It's tied into YouTube. 
I think kept them under 10 minutes. Here is the reading to it, and anytime, you know, everything you're going to need is going to be down here. Don't click on this. Click on the views. Okay, so if you want to hear me read anything or any files, there are going to be directions there down there. So that's caste system, this learning target. Then we're going to get into Hinduism for a couple of days here. So textbook reading and the textbook reading file is right here and me narrating it is right here and again click on the views so that's Wednesday you'll also need you'll have the availability to start taking your geography quizzes that you were starting on Monday reviewing and here are the times that those are open and available through and those are going to be right outside this page so if we go out here because I can't link them in there here you're going to be able to take those assessments okay and you can see the progress checks are out here as well when we get to those here as I go back through the agenda so Hinduism go ahead and drag that YouTube video here through Hinduism overview then I have a video lecture on YouTube going through the PowerPoint slides and then the CAS system progress check that we had started learning on Tuesday that's definitely available and ready for you to make sure you're making progress on that and then we can do that again for Hinduism on Friday And then you got time after that to go ahead and check on the current events. It's similar to the one we did in China. Directions are down here. Go ahead and click on view. It's got the topics. We'll go ahead and click on that real quick. It's got the topics for you here that you can go ahead and type in news.google.com. Okay, anything like that, if you're not sure, go ahead and email me and we'll double check the the article or the topic or both okay so there you go uh, third thing for Friday to wrap up week one you got three things that are due at three o'clock on you guessed it April 3rd okay we're gonna make sure the the map quiz for the India area is done for both the political and physical and both the caste system and Hinduism progress checks the current event that you can get started on on here is not due until next week so wanted to focus mostly on that I'll go quickly I'll probably post another video on week two but let's go to week two just so you can kind of see what's coming up so week two same thing here's here are our test links here's that Dropbox for the current event here's a progress check on Buddhism so let's get into our agenda that is a script for everything here same thing line up that YouTube video it's the same five major world religions this time on Buddhism instead of Hinduism watch those two minutes textbook reading on Buddhism that reading is down here Me reading it is here. Click on the views. Lecture slides on YouTube of me explaining Buddhism, largely built off of this with some extra stuff of my own. Last uh, day kind of scheduled out for that current event that's due here and a Buddhism progress. So, as you can see, we slow down Wednesday just making sure we get that current event in give you some time last Friday to get started on it maybe wrap it up here on Tuesday and Wednesday and get it, go ahead and start click it on this link here and here to start reviewing to get prepped for that exam on Friday and if you want to meet up I got a schedule here 
we can definitely do that. I'll post the live link here in the agenda. Okay, that should get us started with looking at the entire distance learning India unit here. Just make sure we stick to that agenda, keep the pacing. Obviously, we still count on your academic honesty and integrity to be doing your own work, using only the resources that you're supposed to. And as always, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out, send an email. Even if you uh, think it's simple or whatever, don't waste a lot of time. And just remember, you know, you might even not be able to find it because um, you haven't found it or we, we haven't got it running right or it hasn't been published or something like that. So, you know, a lot of us teachers are going to be making probably some silly mistakes uh, because we haven't leveraged, you know, Schoology day in and day out, you know, relied on it 100% for conveying the course like we are now. So let's just be in communication and uh, it'll all work out. Talk to you soon.